And maybe we could ask a Democrat or Republican, how do you uh, envision saving Medicare as it is today? How do you keep this system sustainable? Why haven't you pulled the trigger when it got to 45 percent of general treasury funds? When you look 20 years from now, if nothing changes, Medicare and Medicaid will consume the entire revenue stream just for those two programs. How can you save Medicare as it's designed today without means testing, without age adjustment, and without competition to, to, to create more quality and more choices? The answer is in front of us. All of us have enrolled in this program for us and our families because it is a good deal. It gives us more choices. And if you're going to replace Medicare with this plan, the minimum benefits today have to be guaranteed by the insurance companies that are going to participate. How can this work? It just shows you what happens when you get into a plan that has more choices, more competition, and it also shows you what happens when you means test and age adjust. And I would suggest that Medicare as we know it is a false promise. It is unsustainable. So anyone that tells you that Medicare will be here 20 years from now without breaking the bank called, you know, without putting us in eternal deficits, I don't think is being honest because I don't see how you get there from here without reforming Medicare along the lines of what we're talking about. So rather than inventing something new that's complicated, why don't we take a program that's worked for years in a fashion that people can relate to? If it's good enough for your senator, it ought to be good enough for you.